step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Gonna be Before we start, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. It will surely help the algorithm of this video and will surely help this channel. Now into the video. So uh, as the title suggests, we're here to review Suke uh, as a long term. We're reviewing the entire line of products. Uh, they have an awful lot of jerseys on offer. I'm wearing the uh, Year of the Tiger collection or Year of the Tiger edition. Uh, I don't actually know the code name or the model name that they have for this one on their uh, on their website but I'm gonna go straight into a disadvantage uh, they don't name their jerseys very well uh, my favorite of them and the only one I remember is the CS1101 and that's basically it they, they name their jerseys through uh, some sort of serial number and uh, it's very difficult to remember but aside from that, it's all great from there. Their products, their gloves, their jerseys, their bib shorts are amazing. So I'm gonna go through them one by one and uh, I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, I'm off to finish the second set of my workout. This jersey I'm wearing right now is the CS1101. This is actually my favorite jersey among the Suke line. Uh, I have this in magenta and sky blue uh, in sizes small and extra small. I love them because they're super breathable, the fabric is super high quality. Um, I've been told by Suke that this, uh, uh, this textile is uh, the most expensive that you can get in the market. And also I can attest that expensive brands like Rafa, uh, Black Sheep Cycling has jerseys made out of this textile. Um, <clears throat> also the North Face on running has... Um, Apparels that also has this textile. It's very very breathable. I use the small in endurance rides so that uh, it's uh, to add a little bit more, more comfort and The extra small is for racing uh, Or super fast rides. So yeah, this is the CS1101 my favorite suitcase so far So it's another ride. I just finished my Workout here in City de Mare again, and as you can see I'm wearing my Okay, pink jersey and I still don't know the uh, serial code or the model number but apart from that what I know is that the jersey is very very good it's very very breathable and uh, it's perfect for summer heat especially if you pair it with this green bib shorts I also do not know the model name of this bib shorts I'm just gonna put it in the screen but they're the most breathable of the Suke line and look at this Wearing white socks from Suke, very comfortable, highly breathable, uh, highly recommended. I will also put it in the screen and uh, more reviews coming soon. So while we're on the topic of socks, this is my Suke socks. This is my Suke socks. I have this in white and black. The white is the one that I used during Ironman Philippines and uh, rightfully so. It is very, very comfortable. It has like panels, which I don't really know what it's called, but so it has some areas where it's thick, it has some areas where it's thin, it has some area where it's soft. It is a design well thought of, it's very very breathable, but on your sole it's, it's a little bit thick so that it gives a little bit more comfort and it's soft on your skin. Definitely it's not an aero sock, but if I am to choose a sock which I will use for a whole day ride, this is definitely it. And this by the way is my first Suke jersey. Uh, this is the first kit that they've sent me and uh, I'm still using it till today. Uh, it's one of my most comfortable jerseys and as you can see, it's very very thin. You can almost see through it. I like the design because it's very very simple. It feels very very light as well. As I've said, this is the first jersey I received from Suke and uh, this is the jersey that's really uh, blown me off. It's, it's, it's very very nice, simple in design, elegant. And if you check if, how it's made, the build quality is superb. Another Suke kit. 
I still don't know the serial code or the model number of this jersey but if, as you can see uh, the fit is very very nice I want to mention though that before they did not make extra small sizes and then I told them that if you want to make kits for Filipinos I don't know about Chinese people but we in the Philippines we are unfortunately small human beings so you should actually make extra small so this is the, one of the first extra small kits they made and it it fits very very well uh, the only difference uh, on this kit versus the pink one and the uh, year of the tiger one is that the end of the sleeves are stitched but that's basically it comfort wise it's basically the same uh, if you don't look closely it's basically the same uh, this is if I remember it right $95 well worth for the money if you ask me all right so we're gonna review two of suitcase gloves well they only have two variants this one and this one so this is more like the training one as you can see it's pretty much well used I have had this for quite a while I have loved these gloves um, so this one is for your training days or your longer rides um, it has more padding I think there are some gel inserts in here there they have a very good give to them um, this area has some sort of soft fabric where you, you can wipe your nose off you can also wipe your eyes with these if you know your sweat is already drowning your eyes and um, it's breathable as well as you can see it's it's almost see if you can I don't know if you can see that but it's it's made out of mesh so this is the training glove this is the racing one it's aerodynamic you know you don't see there's there's not there's not a lot of materials for the wind to catch uh, it's very simple as well. It looks really really nice. The padding though is thinner. It doesn't have this. It doesn't have the strap mixing like this. You just put on the glove like this. Doesn't doesn't take a lot of work really. As you can see it, it looks really really nice. So those are the two gloves from Suke. Both are superb in my opinion does a real good job of being a glove this one peels off quite easily this one you need to pull a little bit harder but that's pretty much it all right so let's go through the bib shorts I still don't know their model names ah they are all good in my opinion all of them have similar padding I have used this one uh, in my Ironman race just because they are thinner look at that see um, and uh, they have this silicone grippers which doesn't irritate your skin it's it actually feels nice compared to like the usual silicone grippers and they look good they are in they are olive greens I don't know if, if it's visible in the camera this is the first bib short that i received from suke it's still holding upgrade i'm still using this up to today they are actually my favorite this one is uh looks like they are made of high quality um the straps are like this they're super nice stretchable they're comfortable can't really say anything bad about this one uh the only drawback is this is this uh, bib short um the leg grippers are different they have silicone as well they don't irritate you but this one will you see this tag at the back of the strap i mean it's 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 made out of a rubbery material kind of annoys you during during a ride because heat builds up in this section once sweat once your back is sweating this will stick to your back if, if you don't have a base layer and that area is just gonna build up heat and it is it's super warm so um, I hope Suki change this make it smaller or whatever but um, this is the only drawback I can find among all of their bib shorts other than that the pads are great I mean I have used one for a full Ironman and um, I would use any of these for a full Ironman in terms of padding they have tons of colors in their website as well and they pair nicely to other 
and they pair nicely since they're they're in plain in color they pair nicely to other uh, cycling top if you wanna buy uh, some premiums from Rafa black sheep cycling or uh, anything similar and in my experience I have done some like whole day long rides and uh, they're very very comfortable I highly recommend them so yeah these are the bib shorts and I also have tested their arm warmers or their arm covers I have used them when I got my tattoo and I have protected my tattoo from the sun but it works great for very long rides especially if you're from the Philippines we live in a tropical weather so it's it's really really hot the sun can really get harsh in in this country so the arm covers are UVF 50 they protect you 99% from har harmful UV rays so they're very good quality the inner has a soft lining so it doesn't irritate your skin it actually feels nice to your skin it also does a very good job of wicking away moisture from your skin so it's uh, it helps you stay cool um, I have tried tons and tons of arm warmers before and I hated them because as the name suggests it's warm but for some reasons the suke ones are very very comfortable the inner lining is feels great on my skin and it as I've said it does a good job of wicking away moisture hands um, keeping me cool so uh, that's actually the reason why I don't have it right now it's in the laundry I just had a long ride yesterday and I used it so uh, highly recommended as well all right so that is my long-term review of the suke cycling kits and cycling apparels let me just get this out away um, personally speaking I love them um, I have been wearing them for over a year now they are the first brand who trusted this channel to give them some quality reviews and quality feedback so that they can improve and uh, I do highly recommend them if you want to get one for yourself go to www.suke-sports.com and use promo code Christian Lim to get a discount you can also go to uh, Suke Philippines website. You can use my discount code there as well. And lastly, I want to send a huge shout out to the sponsors of this channel, Greystone Farm and uh, Liver RDJ. Thank you so much for the support. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.